So what is up, guys? Set 20 is fi finally revealed, and lo and behold, it is Perdition, Dragon, and Aqua Force with some duos. And Genesis returns with their witches, and we got Link Joker dropping by with Star Vader, Garnet, Star Dragon. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be a quick enough. We're going to just go over these cards really quick before some reveals tonight. So let's hop on into where we're at. And take a look at what's going on. So we're looking at face cards. So first off, foremost, we see Tetra Burst Dragon. His effect is Counter Blast 1. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if this unit is Legion and it's the fourth battle, you may pay the cost. So you have the CB1 to gain a crit, which is kind of stupid. Hopefully they just change that. So pretty much Tetra needs a big, big, big update for Zero's format. And hopefully uh, they do something for him because that'd be great. It's good to see Aqua Force in return. Actually, and believe it or not, I do not know duos even got like a Legion here. Let's see what this card does. When this unit Legions, okay, so once choose one of your rear guards with doing this card name, return to your hand, search your deck to up to one card with that same card name, reveal it to your point, put it to your oh, oh, it's just Roan as a Vanguard when you Legion. I guess that's useful if you have like one more PG in your hand. And you put the PGs back, you Legion, and then you just add it to your hand. Okay, then. Anyways, next we have our White Snake Winch Mint. Uh, it's a Soul Blast 6 unit when this unit attacks Vanguard, if this unit is Legion. So it's continuous. If you do, until the end of the turn, this unit gets 10,000 power, and all of your rear guard witches gain power too. And then it has a CB1 if you have another witch in this card name in your middle column. Soul Charge 3, and this ability cannot be used for the rest of the turn. Uh, definitely an update for this because power creep and owners aren't that great unless they actually update this to a certain extent. Because again, you still have to attack a five, uh, five K intercept net main with this. And that's never like a, uh, never a good thing at the end of the day. It's not like the best. So that has to get a little fix. And obviously we visit perdition dragon once more. And obviously this is actually the big kicker. Now Conqueror's have a way to recycle there. That's right. Conroe will be able to be recycled. And you'll be able to relive the days of using Conroe multiple times, grabbing PGs, and just having a great, great time. Anyways, what Perdition Dragon did was you CB2, and then you choose, and then you Persona Blast pretty much the Gray 2 or the G3. If this unit is Legion, so obviously this is continuous, they might change to when this unit Legions, so you won't have a choice. Choose up to two of your opponent's Gray 2 or less rear guards and retire them. Then, if the number of cards in your opponent's damage is four or less, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and deal one damage. During that damage check, all trigger effects are nullified. So, obviously, this is the end game unit. You're killing two intercepts. You push it in the five. And since there was no trigger defense, you're, you actually just swing face at three PGs. And they have to legit have three PGs to survive Perdition Dragon in general. But Perdition Dragon does update the fact that Kagaros will be able to recycle Conroe. So you'll be able to always search out a PG when you need it. Because every time your drive trigger draws Conroe, guess what? That's technically going to get a PG with a, depending on how much CB you have left. So Perdition Dragon, this was what I feared. Cargos would just recycle Conroe at the end of the day and their PGs. We'll see how that plays out. Last but not least, I've never seen this card. Is this a starter deck card? Yeah, it's a TD. Okay, so they at least seen another TD starter. Uh, when this unit legions, choose a rear guard in your opponent's front and back row and lock them. Oh. Oh, crap. You know, you, oh, oh, God. What? Um, yeah, oh, God. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Um, ye. Yikes. Uh, Jesus, really? Uh, I'm guessing rewriting this just seems like ha in heaven. <laughs> Lock a front and back row for free? I'm not going to nerf that somehow. I don't know why, but I can see it. So some G2 here. Some of the G2s they legion with. When this unit is placed on the rear guard circle, if you have a Vanguard with Star Vader's card name, and your opponent has a lock card, choose where you punch rear guards and lock. What? No. Bad. Okay, I'll we'll have to see how this plays out. Jesus. It lock another card. I'm pretty sure this card's going to get changed to priority to back, or that's too stupid. Perdition Dragon G2. When this unit attacks, if you have Vanguard with Perdition's card name, okay, it becomes a 12k. Perdition Legion's with like the stupidest cards, but that's okay. This is for Witch's Legion. When this unit attacks, again, oh, just more 12k units. 
Damn, a lot of legions next are just all 12Ks besides freaking companion there. Next is the duo one. CB1 soul, soul charge one. Once you need to return to your hand, you may pay a cost if you do draw a card. Eh. Not worth. And of course, as you all know, this is supposed to be the basil of legion for Aqua Force, but we'll see how this plays out unless he gets updated and he doesn't cost CB. We'll see how that goes. All right, that is actually it, guys. You kind of got the gist of what to look forward to, but yeah, you, you need a nerf. Hopefully, you're just priority to back row. I ain't dealing with that right now. But Link Joker will return pretty hard right now with what we're dealing with here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Y'all stay safe. We'll talk about more reveals tonight as the day progresses. Be good, stay safe. Until next time.